Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We're going to check out a little thing I call bass note chord links, which is basically adding a couple of notes in to link up the bass notes of your chords. I think it sounds really cool. It's kind of a country vibey thing, but works well for most styles. The trick really is to find two bass notes that are going to link from one chord to the other, and we put them on beats three and four going into the new chord. Now, there are no real set rules here, but there are some common patterns. So what I'm going to do is start by taking you through the common patterns, explain a little bit about what's going on and how it works, uh, and then I would encourage you to have a go at trying to make up some of your own as well. So let's get to a close-up and check it out. So let's start off by having a look at a link between a C chord and a G chord. This one's really, really common. Uh, it works both G to C, C to G, no matter what the key, usually. Now there's the C, the bass note run is going to go C to B to A to G. So it's going following down the C major scale, or the G major scale, depending on which way you want to look at it, it's the same note. So we'd have C for a whole bar, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, same on the way back up, three, four, one. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. For the full country experience, you might want to throw in an alternating bass pattern as done in grade two of my beginner's course there. So in that case, you'd have C with a G bass note, C, then the walk down. G with a B, either with a B bass or a D, it wouldn't matter, then the climb. Now that particular C to G thing really is common. You'll hear it a whole lot. I am putting it a, a slightly country slant on it because it's nice and slow, easier to work with, but it does work in loads of different styles at loads of different tempos. Have an explore and see what you can find. So let's now have a look at another common movement going from A to D. Now the link from the A needs a little bit more movement with the hand there. We're having A, B, C sharp, D. Works down as well. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Again, with most rhythm things, the first part is getting the notes right and get it, you know, getting your pick it, picking the bass note there accurately. But once you can do it technically, you really want to start thinking about the feeling and trying to make it feel good, feel relaxed and feel flowing when you're doing it, not something that you have to consciously think about. That generally takes practice. You need to practice it enough that you don't have to think about it anymore. Let's have a look at another one now from A minor. D minor or D, it works the same thing actually here, but you'd have A. C, B, A. If you take it away, it still sounds cool. I'm not saying you shouldn't just keep it simple. Sometimes simple is real good. It just gives it that nice little kind of movement, especially when you're playing on your own. Now, all of these so far have been kind of scale based, so either using the major scale to link major chords or the minor scale to link minor chords. But you will find sometimes that there's either the chords are too close together or you need to, there's some other reason why the scale wise steps won't work. Uh, generally speaking, for major, it's going to go a tone step and the tone step. So from the A, tone higher, tone higher to a D, and back down again. 
and for minor chords it's going to go up a tone and then a semitone to get to the new one. So if you're doing E minor to A minor, you'd have E minor, tone, semitone. Okay, generally speaking. But if you've got a chord, say, a, a C to A, either major or minor, uh, there's not enough notes there. If you go there to A, you missed it. You have to use a chromatic. Okay, which is introducing a note that's not in the scale, but because of the flow of it, it's going to work great still. So we'd have my F C, B B flat A. work so well going up to my ear. It, it's okay. I, I might use it, but I'd be maybe more inclined to find another way uh, of exploring that if I'm going to go from the uh, A major to the C. I think on an A minor. Still sounds a little bit odd. Going down, it seems to work great. I think it's because the chromatic note is on... Uh, a strong beat when you go up. It's landing on beat three, which is the second strongest beat in the bar. Beat one is the strongest, beat three is the next strongest. Whereas when you're descending, it's going three, four, which is the weakest beat of the bar. So you kind of covers it a little bit more. But again, there's going to be times where that will work and you've got to use your ear to figure this out. And some of, these are just examples of things to try out, but I would definitely encourage you to explore other variations or other ways of doing this stuff. Um, couple more just that I think you might find particularly helpful. Uh, going to the chord F. It's always a little bit of a funny one. You can use a chromatic, so if you're going C to F, you can go G, F sharp to F. It doesn't work so well for me going to the C. If, if I was going from the F to the C, I'd probably step it up from the A. Or, which is the one I wanted to explain to you, more commonly for me, to my ear, rather than using the chromatic, I'd be more inclined to go G, E, F. So I'm surrounding it. I'm start. There's the note I want to end up on. Starting above, going below, and then ending up there. I just did it from the C, above, below, to the chord. D. That was there. Above the C, below the C, to the C. So there are many different ways of doing this. It's not something where there's like one set pattern. As you learn more songs, you're going to find examples of it in songs that you learn and love as well. But I do think there's a lot of value to exploring this stuff on your own. I've given you a whole set of examples, which are things that I would encourage you to work on, to incorporate into songs that you can play already. Again, choosing a song that you are already comfortable with and applying a new idea into it is often better than trying to learn a new song from scratch with a new idea. So think about the songs that you know where that this might be an appropriate thing to add in and have a try. Like I said, these are examples. I would encourage you to not just try these, but to see what else you could do. If you get sick of doing it this, this one way and you feel like, well, I've done it that way, I'm, I'm, I'm hip with it, I can do it. What else can I do? Try stuff. You don't have to, even with the C. After a bit, you'll be definitely bored of that. What about going... So I'm changing instead of A, I'm going to do a little chromatic run or a descending. Yeah. Made a, a pretty funny fingering decision there, but anyway. 
there's no rule here. You can just try stuff, and sometimes you're going to go, wow, that was amazing. Other times you go, meh. And when you go, meh, you just don't do it again. And when you go, oh, that was amazing, maybe make a note of it somewhere so that you know that you've got a new trick in your bag. You might find it even for, it's the kind of thing that can inspire whole songs. If you explore this sort of stuff, you just go, oh, that's an interesting idea. It just prick your ears up and you go, oh, hang on, that's a cool thing. I want to explore more of that and see if there's a song living in there. So, um, Small idea, big consequences, really useful, nice way of spicing up your plan. Uh, if you've got any questions, do let me know in the comments. Of course, I check the ones on the website a little bit more frequently, so do ask it in over there. You'll find tabs, of course, on the website as well as a PDF uh, sheet with these examples on it if you find that a helpful thing to have in front of you. If you do happen to be over on YouTube, there'll be a link to the website in the description. But before you disappear over there, really appreciate you hitting that subscribe, a like, and all of the usual stuff. Uh, hope you enjoy this and all of the rest of the new grade three stuff that's coming your way and i'll see you for plenty more very soon have a fantastic day bye bye